So a birth preference worksheet is really important when you're nearing the labor stage of pregnancy. You want to think about the things you want to have or wouldn't want to have in labor. My goal really is just to have a healthy baby and for me to be healthy and all of the interventions I may or may not have to take. I'll just go with the flow. I really have no idea what to expect the day of because we really don't know. <laughs> so pain medication in labor is something that we actually recommend you start talking with your doctor about at about 36 weeks so you're aware of the options. Many women choose not to receive any pain medicine and if that's the case we'll give you as much support as we can. We have all kinds of things to help you through that. Some of the non-medication options include walking around, rocking in a rocking chair, taking a warm shower. We have birthing balls. In many locations we have birthing tubs. Um, those can be very helpful in relieving pain of labor. Other women really do not want to feel more pain than they absolutely have to in labor, and that's okay too. We have many options for pain control. Some women choose IV pain medicine, which goes in through the IV, and does not take all the pain away, but takes it down a couple of notches. Women who choose an epidural um, do feel a dramatic decrease in the amount of discomfort that they're feeling. Another option for pain control that's available in more and more locations is nitrous oxide. This is the laughing gas that most people think of as being available in the dentist's office. It's unlikely to cause you to laugh in labor, but it does make the intensity of the contractions that you're feeling less Severe. So this is my fourth baby, fourth delivery. The first was all natural. Then this time I would hope for a completely natural um, experience again. However, if it, if it comes down to the, the health of the child, I, I certainly would opt for whatever option my provider and I chose was best. People are often concerned when they get an epidural that they have failed in some sort because they wanted to have an unmedicated birth. I ask people to remember that every labor and delivery is different. Even though you were able to have an unmedicated birth, even one pregnancy, you might not be able to have an unmedicated birth with your second pregnancy. It really is a personal decision. And some people have one thought coming in and change their mind mid-labor. And that's very common and very normal. It's not too late to change your mind. We offer both medication uh, through an IV as well as epidurals, even into the late stages of labor. Try to be open and flexible. Know that your care provider team wants the best for you and your baby. Trust their advice and know that we want the best outcome for you and your baby.